about Indian Express March 18, 2022 newspaper. First article is related to Indian judge at International Court of Justice votes to seek uh, end end of uh, Russia war on Ukraine. Ukraine two judge from Russia and China voted against the decision. UN court comprises 15 judges. The rulings of uh, International Court of Justice are binding, but there have been a cases where countries have ignored them since the uh, International Court of Justice has no direct means of enforcing its orders. Next article is related to uh, India extends dollar 1 billion line of uh, credit to Lanka. Dollar 1 million credit facility to Sri Lanka is in midst of a severe economic crisis triggered by shortage of foreign currency, foreign exchange. <coughs> With this, Delhi have provided a total finance assistance of dollar 2.4 billion to Sri Lanka since January, but this will only particularly help mitigate the country's economic meltdown. Next article that we are going to move is related to film industry must also implement posh act says kerala high court the petition saying the film industry cannot be beyond the beyond the purview uh, cannot be beyond the purview of posh act and its uh, amount to violation of vishaka guidelines thursday asked the organization associated with the film industry to take steps to constitute a joint committee to deal with the cases of sexual harassment of women in line of sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act of 2013 posh act the bench however said uh, the political parties which are not having the any employer employee relationship with its members which are not caring with any private venture uh, undertakings etc in contemplation of work workplace as defined under uh, section 2 um, 2 of uh, act 2013 are not liable to make any internal complaint com complaints committee Okay. Continuation of uh, India extends uh, 1 billion uh, to Lanka, credit to Lanka is uh, about uh, India. India's NPTC last week signed an agreement for setting up a solar plant in Sampur in the eastern province of Trincomalee, while the Adani group have signed up for another wind and solar projects in Mannar. Pon an area of northern Sri Lanka, Indian Oil Subsidiary, Lanka Indian Oil Corporation and Ceylon Petroleum have signed an agreement to jointly develop the Trincomalee oil tank um, farm. Delhi is also pushing for joint development of Pala Airport and Kankisanthuri Harbour in the northern Jaffna Peninsula. Next article is uh, related to CRPF, DG flags lack of road in the core Chhattisgarh Maoist areas. Lack of road connectivity remains a serious uh, challenge for the security forces who are moving deeper into the Maoist dominated uh, areas of Chhattisgarh to set up the new camps every year. Next uh, article is related to uh, Ujwala effect due, due to very high uh, background exposure in india the health impacts of air pollution on indian populations are population groups are likely to slightly lesser than in the cleaner countries ujala effect okay next article that we are moving into is related to opening a window that is Beijing overcome Beijing's overture is welcome but India New Delhi but New Delhi must continue continue to insist on de-escalation in Ladakh plan to settle the border if it takes place it would be the first high level visit between two countries since China ingress across line of actual control into areas claimed by Indian in eastern Ladakh unilaterally pulling out of several bilateral agreements between 1993 and 2013 on peaceful management and resolution of border issue, avoidance of military conflict at LAC. 
including the access to traditional patrolling points in the Depsang plain also worrying for Indian in, in uh, India is the unprecedented level of infrastructure building activity and military posturing by People's Liberation Army close to LAC on the Chinese side. Against this background, any peaceful engagement, especially at the political level, between the India and China is always welcome as it is an opportunity to improve the relationship. As reported by this newspaper, China side has also proposed other engagement including civilizational dialogue and interaction between the business and film industries of both sides. International order arising out of the Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Beijing like Delhi, but for different reasons, is walking an inter- international tightrope between its uh, no limit friendship with, with Moscow and its global economic interest now under threat from US Europe sanctions against Russia. In this sense, the proposed but yet unscheduled engagement would throw a challenge. Members, India is India is a member too. Beijing is to host the summit this year. Is also in chair of the trilateral trilateral RIC forum that is Russia India China forum. The primary agenda of any engagement, India China talks has never been easy even in the best of times. But Delhi must make uh, most of the Chinese outreach to push not just for a de-escalation in Ladakh but also for a quick and time-bound diplomatic settlement of the border issues which has only become more complica- complicated in the last two years. Much ado about attire. Uniform cannot be more important than education. All girls must be in school with or without the hijab. Next article is related to hijab. The girls in hijab are denied entry into the classrooms on the ground that by wearing a head, headgear by they violated the uniform prescribed by their institution. The matter could be have been easily resolved through a dialogue between the co- college authorities and parents. Instead, it got politicized with different religious and political outfit jumping in the fray with their radical and their antagonistic position. It was made out as a Though the right to education and right to religious freedoms are loggerheads. Educational institutions are entitled to frame their own rules, but these cannot be infringe the fundamental rights granted by the constitution. Besides, the uniform cannot be more important than education itself. The girls in hijab pleaded for the protection of their rights to right to free right to freedom of religion, education and freedom of choice. The Karnataka government argued that a reasonable restriction with a view to maintaining secular perspectives are enforceable under what it is called the institutional discipline doctrine. Surely the parliament is as much of public space as classroom. Chief ministerial office demands much adherence to the secular dress code as classroom. Singling out girls in hijab is outright discriminatory and smack of double standard. The researchers, the origin of veil in Islam to conclude that it is only not mandatory not was, but has nothing to do with women. The absence of social reforms in the Muslim society in the South Asia has resulted in patriarchy mask masquerading as religion. Patriarch particularly when religion is made into a sort of rocket science where only holy men um, uh, have the authority. In the orthodox world, world view, the burden of so-called Islam, Islam identity must be borne by women. The fundamental Quranic values of justice, kindness, compassion, wisdom are forgotten and the stresses on outward appearance. Women in hijab has as much choice as women with sindur. Behavioral norms are present for both. It must be forgotten that veil is primarily a patriarchal con- construct, not in- intrinsic to Islam. We are multi-faith democracy with a constitution rooted in the values of justice, equality and pluralism. The practice of secularism has no doubt been deeply flawed in our politics and fissures along the religious lines have uh, always uh, existed. But despite the communalism, communal riots have remained a plural and peaceful society. It is important that ordinary Indians, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians reject the device political politics of hate. The peaceful coexistence, tolerance, mutual interest can defeat the politics of divide and rule. The religious system, uh, religiosity must be confined to the private realm. Over, over to the display and competing the religiosities can, can only harm us all. The political religion in our uh, neighborhood in Afghanistan and Pakistan has wrecked the havoc in lives of ordinary people. All girls must be in school with or without hijab. Nation will progress when girls are educated and empowered. Government must focus on enabling greater access to girls' education, including higher education. They must not waste the public resources and precious judicial hours on fighting legal cases to deny students their choice of attire in the name of uniform. 
நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன்று ஆர்டிக்கல் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு நேட்டோ பிளண்டர்ஸ் குவாட் லெஷன் லெட்ஸ் ஆல் லெட்டர் சி இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட்டு ஆடியோ வீடியோ தேங்க்யூ